You've gone vegan. Have you always been vegan? No, I was uh, pseudo Mediterranean about two years ago, and uh, which I thought was healthy: red wine, cheese.、Uh, it was a great life, but unfortunately, I I was losing my memory,、uh, and I, I really wasn't that. I mean, I was about seven or eight years younger than my actual age, according to Inside Tracker, a testing company.、Um, I met Serena Poon, who's here in the audience, who Peter's been referencing. I've been referencing. She's a, among other things, a nutritionist,、um, but also a longevity expert, and a lot of things I don't know she does. And one of those things is what to eat.、Um, so she turned me on to veganism. Now, I would say I'm a struggling vegan. I still have butter and milk occasionally. I'll occasionally have some alcohol,、uh, but I do try to. Be plant focused as much、yes. as I can, and I do. It, it turns out I, I love plant stuff. I love hummus and baba ganoush and all that stuff. So I, I don't just eat salads.、Uh, but what what surprised me when I switched to、uh, listen to Serena is that I, I measure myself in many ways, as I think you all know.、Uh, I went back another two years in my biological age, just in a couple of months after switching to that diet. So I've been convinced. Now I think there are a lot of people who say, "Well, I got to have my meat." But my alcohol, I would say, just try to temper it, especially the alcohol. Yeah, my my father used to say, "Pan metron adestan," everything in moderation.、Mm-hmm. Talk about mitochondria. The number of mitochondria fall off as we age, and the efficiency of them. That's one of the hallmarks of aging. Yeah, it is.、Uh, so there are there are about a dozen hallmarks now. We keep adding on, and th- these are really underlying causes of aging. Mitochondrial dysfunction is one of them,、um, though I think that epigenetic changes. Drive a lot of these, including mitochondrial effects, because when we reset the age of the cell, the mitochondria get rejuvenated, which is good news. Now these power packs decline. NMN and boosters of NAD rejuvenate mitochondria, and that's been shown to be highly beneficial in animals and now in people. And so one of the things that you want to do is make sure that your battery packs, your mitochondria, stay healthy and numerous. And that's one of the reasons exercise and fasting are beneficial: is that your body boosts the mitochondria. And your fasting regime right now is it has it changed at all? Are you still、yeah. one meal a day, or are you? I, I try. I ate a little bit of lunch, as you saw. I I really try. I think, Serena I think will you tell ate you. A I, piece I of struggle. Cauliflower. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's really hard. I agree that just having one meal a day、um, is a challenge. I think it's okay if you're not perfect. You, I try to skip breakfast. I try to skip lunch. I'm not always successful. But in general, my average day looks like most of my calories are eaten within a six-hour window, and so、Do、I. You feel you're getting、right. enough protein to keep your muscle mass. We've talked a lot about the importance of muscle、mm. and、uh, reversing sarcopenia as we age. Yeah, I do. So, I think if you if you don't pay attention to what you eat and you just eat lettuce leaves, you're not going to do it. But we're Serena and I are very careful. We we focus on legumes and we we、uh, those plants that have high protein content and nutrition. And that's the key. You need to educate yourself on what to eat, not just when to eat.、Um, you know, you pinned a tweet、um, in which you talk about the factors that are counter to、uh, a longer, healthier life. Smoking, for sure. That's the worst. And、yeah, the worst. Alcohol intake. Again, new new data data says、uh, alcohol is worse than I even thought.、Um, so. So if you want your resveratrol, take the pill, not the red wine. Definitely. Okay. Waist size. What waste? Our waste size. size. Yeah.、Uh, so uh, uh, people who are overweight、um, have a, a, in general, an older epigenetic age than those who stay at a BMI between,、uh, say, 21 and 24. So that's a fact. So if you want to age slower, maintain your BMI in what's considered a healthy range.、Yeah. Uh, inflammatory uh, CRP levels. Yep. I think it's. Yeah. It's called inflammation. Inflammation is the underlying killer for so much. It, for sure, for sure. And there are foods that you eat can, that can be inflammatory.、Uh, for instance, some of us are,、uh, have a reaction to dairy or to certain grains. Be careful about that. You don't want that. Your gut is very important for inflammation. You don't want bacteria getting into your gut, lodging in your bloodstream or in your brain. That can cause these diseases that we all know of. So yeah, keep inflammation low. And one of the best ways to do that is to.、Uh, Not just eat well, but also make sure that you're not allergic to things in your environment, and you can do blood tests to make sure that's not happening.